to a special edition of Teching the Meta. In today's discussion, we're going to be talking about the new March 2011 ban list and uh, how it's affecting our meta. So the first deck we're going to take a look at is the infamous Black Wings. Uh, these bitches have been around for a long time. Uh, they started out as a swarm deck and then became a anti-meta deck and now they were a control deck. And as of March 2011, they are a we don't know deck. Um, for starters, Icarus got hit down to Tomb, uh, definitely hurt the, te uh, the deck quite a lot. Uh, they lost power, they lost their ability to 2 for 3, and um, they also lost Kalut, so they lost their ability to use Skill Drain really effectively and uh, get over those big monsters. It kind of looks like Konami wants to get rid of the whole uh, using hand tricks in battle and more focused on using the cards on the field, because your only couple are Kalut uh, and Honest being limited as well. but. Um, yeah, um, hopefully we're going to see more, uh, Bayou Turbo decks as one of my cards listed, um, so that means we're going to need more Greffers and more Bayous, Triple Bayou hopefully. Um, also looks like Triple Blizzard is going to be, uh, mained a lot more instead of Double or One if you're bad at this game. And, uh, Kalutes, in order to fix that problem, looks like we're going to play some more Dark Eruptions, get the Kalutes back, get the, uh, not Bayous, but get the... Blizzard back or Gale, just stuff like that. And uh, to replace the third Icarus, we can always play a D Prison on top of that. Uh, other than that, it's going to be a really hard deck to run for this format unless new support comes out for it. Uh, I would suggest trying to stay away from this deck because they got devastated pretty hard. Konami wants it dead finally, and they might get their wish with it. We'll see. Um, two decks we're going to talk about is Quick Draw, Dandy Warrior, uh, Jeff Jones deck, and we're going to talk about the Debris. Plants deck. Alright, so they both have stuff in common. They both use the Dandelions, and they both use the uh, Debris Dragon, blow up everything, plus 7 off your opponent with protection left over. Um, Dandelion got hit down to 1, and uh, that really hurts the deck, because uh, now you have to live off your 1 Dandelion. Sure, you can play Foolish, speed it into the, de uh, into the graveyard and work off that, but it's uh, vulnerable to Crow, and uh, once you lose your Dandelion, your deck loses most of its steam, and uh, can easily lose. Um, so in order to remedy this, um, you're just gonna have to play, uh, another card trooper since we got two back now. Um, Debris Plants is kinda almost dead. I mean, you can play the double card trooper, triple Ryko, um, mill engine, and you can play your charge on top of that as well. Uh, but other than that, uh, Debris Dragon Plants is gonna have a really hard time, uh, facing up against the meta. So my suggestion to you would play uh, more quick draw based and get a couple more tunings in there for extra mills and such. Other than that, the deck is going to have a hard time f uh, playing in this format against Grave Keepers and uh, Six Samurais. And speaking of one of the two decks, we we'll talk about Grave Keepers. Grave Keepers lost two things. They lost Royal Tribute and they lost a Solemn Warning. Other than that, the deck is perfectly fine. So, you know, just play two bottomless trap hold, the deck's solid still. Um, sure, some uh, you can't get rid of the battle phase special summon abilities as much, but who cares? You have two bottomlesses, and you'll be fine manipulating their hand and getting rid of their graveyard control as well. Uh, six Sams, um, tier one still, not much of an explanation. They got their Shien, they got their Swarm still going on. Um, just you gotta luck sack into it pretty much. Uh, one deck, we're not really sure why, didn't get really touched, but the uh, Frog Monarch, Formula Monarch, Frog FTK decks, uh, or not Frog FTK, that was an awful format, uh, Fish OTK, um, didn't really get hit much so ever. Um, I assumed Caius was going to get hit maybe to 2 or 1, because Caius is a really powerful card, and Formula Synchron especially go down to 1, because uh, it's honestly too overpowered. In this deck, you get to draw twice, you get a tuner, and you get a tribute fodder still. So you can still get your formula off. You have two cards to cycle through for the turn. 
uh, Sack for the Monarch, or you do the Road and Toad and Sack for the Monarch play. This deck is going to be fairly good this format. Um, not much to be said other than just keep on playing it. Maybe we need to turbo it out a little bit more to get rid of Samurais. Um, on that, very versatile deck. Uh, not too many flaws with it, just maybe if you open up with too many Monarchs in your hand and not enough Tribute Fodder. But uh, I seem to always open up Frog Engine every time. But other than that, it's going to be a very, uh, great deck. It's going to be very versatile this format. And one deck, I hope for it to come back so much. But the uh, Future Fusion, Chimera Tech Over Dragon OTK deck. Awful deck. Future Fusion, Overload, Game. Terrible, terrible, terrible deck. But um, it might come back due to uh, the semi of Overload Fusion. And this guy's running around at 3 still. Uh, next thing you know, they're going to put Future Fusion at 2 or 3 and... So Sarko's at three now, so you can play technically five of these and four of these, which is uh, straight up awful. But this is probably going to be the biggest deck to rise from uh, the unlimiting of things, or uh, some more of those anti-meta hero beat decks since skill drains back up to three again. Um, some issues I have with the ban list is that um, Konami kind of forgot about oppression. We have our warnings, but give us back oppression. It's it's a great deck. Eight hundred. Uh, it's a great card pay 800 for the negation of a special summon that's a pretty fair trade-off we all have those mst tricks and stuff book of moon everybody's raging out there about book of moon had to be done though i mean it's a staple if you run anything in three konami's like mm, not gonna happen anymore so uh we probably will have book of moon at one for a while if not forever i would uh definitely think that the minimal amount of time we'll stay at book of moon for one is at least one full year so um, have fun with your luck sacking into your one book of moon at the right time. People are going to play enemy controls over that because they assume it's the next best thing. They definitely do have their trade-offs and their benefits, but other than that, um, I don't know. I want Crush to come back personally, but that won't happen. It's too broken, uh, too easy to get now, but yeah. Um, thank you for watching this special edition of uh, Teching the Meta. Rate, comment, and subscribe as always, and give us a message about what we should uh, tech out next time. Thank you.